Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Um, there, there is something that I wanted to talk about um, that is a very important subject for me. And I kind of, I, you guys, honestly, I, I want to kind of, well, not kind of, I do, um, have it on my heart to write a, an actual book, maybe a short book on this, um, on this topic. Um, because it is a is a very integral part of of spiritual practice and learning how to forgive, and learning how to let go, um, and learning unconditional love in your life. Um, but that is the topic of judgment. Um, I've I've always been super sensitive, so if I feel someone's judgment, I sense it immediately. You know, or alternatively. If I, I mean, I've gotten to the point where I pick up on if I'm judging someone else almost immediately in my head because I'm so, I'm becoming so much more aware of my habit of that. And everybody has a habit of that because we're programmed to judge. And also it's a part of our ego. It's a very nasty part of our ego to judge people. And so I have it on my heart to, um, to actually write a book on this subject, but I wanted to briefly talk about it. And I actually, I want to read um, the the brief blog post that I posted on my Facebook and my Instagram, and then kind of just expand upon it. And I actually wrote a little bit more today about it, because it is my pet peeve, even though I do it. I mean, I catch myself all the time thinking thoughts that, but I'm getting a lot better about instantly becoming aware of when I'm judging and um, reacting and, and trying to react in different ways instead of reacting with hostility or, um, you know, in all the negative ways you react when you are judging someone. Um, but I wanted to expand upon the, um, the subject because I had, I had something happen to me a couple of months back that was really traumatic for me. Um, and I never thought it would have happened to me. Um, and I'm not going into any details about what actually happened, but it was a situation where someone thought that they had the right to take certain actions. Um, someone basically were, someone basically was holding judgments in their head and they, and they thought uh, that they were righteous enough to act out and do what they felt like they must and their, you know, righteous judgment. I mean, it was just, it makes me sick to my stomach, honestly. And, um, so I'm not going to go into details about that, but it really, uh, it was very traumatic for me. It was very painful and hurtful for me. And, um, I don't think that whoever did this, I don't think that they realized what they did. And so I want to talk about, but this is just one example. I mean, it could be anything, you know, anything that you're judging someone over or any way that um, you're judging yourself and beating yourself up for and um, that you're punishing yourself for. You know, it's just as bad to do that to yourself as it is to do that to someone else. I mean, we all have the right to live our own lives and we all have the right to live it the way that we want and um, there are certain circumstances where, where you can come from a very loving place and help people, but there's also ways that you just act out of that judgment, and then you really end up hurting people, even if you think you're helping them, you're hurting them. Um, you're, yeah, anyway, I'm going to read my post from my Instagram and Facebook um, from yesterday, and then I'm going to read what I wrote today. Um, the post that I wrote yesterday is being called Being Fully Human. I think one of the biggest tragedies of humanity is expecting ourselves and others to be the versions that we desire them to be. We are not free, neither do we let others be free. Casting out webs of the shoulds and should nots, what people should, you know, should or should not do. All the while, each of our souls long to be and become who we came here to be, expressing our unique brand of love and compassion 
and also at times pain. Life was never meant to be planned, but rather an ever becoming. Judgment is the death of our organic evolution and the inhibitance from the euphoric realms of love and freedom. In this realization, it is my prayer that we can join together in our familial humanity and release the bondage of judgment towards ourselves and of others, to let ourselves be free, to express and learn, and evolve in the most in the most truest and beautiful ways. Let us love and love and love and come home to ourselves. And then I wanted to read what I wrote today. Um, and I think this is very, this is a very healing video for me too, as much as it's helping whoever's listening, um, because I still have, I still have, th the, the wound is still festering a little bit from what happened a couple months ago. And so, um, yeah, this is, this is, um, a big, a big pet peeve of mine. It is a big, um, topic that I feel very called and led to speak about a lot, um, because it is a plague of humanity. It really is. It's, it's a, it's a disease. If we could just do away with the judgments and the, it would, it would do away with so much pain and, and so much strife within families and within friendships and yeah, anyway, I'm going on a tangent, but, um, okay, so I'm going to read you what I wrote today. We do not understand the compilation or the components of what made a person that the way that they are. Likewise, a lot of times we are unaware of what makes our own selves the way that we are, why we react, behave, construct our lives and have the and choose the the relationships that we choose to have. We think we know. We assume. We assume things about people and we don't realize how damaging that can be for the people we cast judgment upon. And when we judge ourselves, we are damaging our own heart instead of seeking healing and understanding of why we think the way we do and why we act the way we do. The older I get, the more disturbing I find it when people think it is their business to fix someone or to correct a problem in someone else's life or to be in the know about someone's business. Why can't people stay in their own lanes focusing on themselves? And I'm not saying that you can't care about people in your life and that you, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, there are times when you have to pick someone up off the ground, you know, but it's, that's a very different energy than coming at someone from a very judgmental mentality or attacking someone through something that you're doing to them, either um, to their face or doing it behind their backs or, um, you know, passive aggressive behavior. That's a very different energy. And that's what I'm basically talking about. And it's also an energy in the mind when you judge someone from your, um, f from your mind, uh, it's still an energy and it still is felt by that person. It's still felt by that person. It's still felt in the collective. It's still, a, uh, contributes to the collective pain and trauma of humanity on planet earth, whether you want to believe that or not, it is, a, it is, that is, it, it is contributing to that. And so the judgment thing is just a very toxic behavior that we have to very consciously and very, um, minute by minute, hour by hour, really take hold of that behavior, that unconscious behavior that we have, that we've been taught, that our ego wants us to exhibit, um, our, we aren't person, our, our souls are not, our souls are not, uh, made up of that, but our ego, our human avatar, our, um, monkey brain, our, uh, our bodies, which contains the ego, it wants war, destruction, you know, pain, um, drama, all of that stuff 
but our souls are made up of love. We come from God. We are love. And so um, I just really wanted to share that message today. Um, I, I really, um, when I get on Facebook or Instagram, especially on Facebook, and over the past couple of years, I've seen so much, um, so much judgment and this, this person has this opinion and this person has that opinion and we all have different opinions about everything. And it, there's so many unnecessary arguments and hurt going on between people. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. And I, I've gotten to where I just can't even hardly, if I do go on Facebook, it's just to post something that I was watching or that I thought was funny or whatever. But I really have a hard time with people who think it is their right to, yes, we all have the right to our own voices and our own opinions. I totally agree with that. I totally 100% feel you. I'm giving my opinion right now. Um, but the judgment and the hurt and the, the, the finger pointing, if we want to ever improve humanity, if we ever want to come to a more peaceful place, have a more peaceful construction of society, um, of, you know, of humanity in itself, we have to learn how to come together despite our differences. And it doesn't matter how big you, you think that it is, whether that's, um, political, uh, you know, with the whole jab thing, you know, um, whatever it is, uh, stuff that's anything, it can be anything. It's, the, <sighs> we will always find things to argue over. We will always find things to disagree about because we're all unique. We're all different. We all have our own desires. We all have our own missions here. We all have our, our dharma, our, um, uh, our uh, paths in life we, that we are meant to fulfill. You know, we all have, we're all different and we're meant to be that way. So if we can come together and we can learn how to love and stop casting judgment and to stop thinking that we know better what is for someone's life than than they do. Um, we all come in with our own inherent guidance system, even if we make a lot of mistakes along the way. And we all do. That's, that's the thing is like, we all have our versions of making mistakes and playing around with life to try to do better and be better. And, you know, we're improving along the way, but we all have those major hiccups, you know, that we're, the places in our lives where we really, uh, don't know how to find our way clearly across the path, but we're working on it and we're trying. Um, we're all doing the best that we can with the knowledge that we have. And so practicing the, the spiritual practice of compassion and maximizing, maximizing that compassion and that love and ceasing the judgment as soon as we think that thought or as soon as we, uh, have that emotional response um, after we think the thought, that's when we have to nip it in the butt, nip it in the butt and say, no, this is not loving. This is not allowing that being who c chose to incarnate and who is here for a reason that I am not going to think that my way, that how I think they should live their life is how they need to live their life. Stay in your own lane, stay in your own path. That's, that's the motto that I give myself every single day or as much as I can. Now I realize that I'm speaking from a place where I have, um, I've had a lot of relationships where I, um, I've given a lot of people advice and stuff and I have done a lot of judgment in my life, of course. Um, but, um, I do have a small child, so being a parent is not easy, and I know that um, I want to do the best by my son. Um, I want him to grow up 
knowing that he is fully loved, fully supported. But I also know that he's going to make his own mistakes and he's going to learn his own lessons in life. And so I know that, that those days are coming. <laughs> and um, so I come from, with this message, I come from a place of full humility here, guys. I'm not trying to preach. I just am very passionate about it because it is a huge disease in humanity. I mean, if if we could just get rid of most of the judgment that we cast upon ourselves and upon others, we would have a much more healed and peaceful and loving and collaborative, supportive society. You know, we wouldn't have so much pain and um, all of the nasty stuff that goes on within societies. Um, and with humanity itself, if we just learn the art of really loving, not e and I'm not even talking about total unconditional love. That's that's a very powerful concept to grasp. But I'm just talking about working your way into more love. You know, lo more loving thoughts, um, allowing people to express themselves the way that they want to express themselves and live their lives in the ways that they are meant to live their lives, the path that they are, their dharma, their 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 life path. Um, and we all have that in our lives. And so um, what is feels right or feels natural for you may not be anything to what feels natural and true for another person. And so it's, you know, it's just one of the, it's one of my big, I really do want to write on this subject um, because it, it's, it's one of the major tenets of the spiritual path to deprogramming your mind and coming into that. Um, it's just the spiritual practice that's going to uh, elevate you out of the lower realms of the ego the ego mind that causes pain and suffering and into the higher realms of freedom and joy and expansion and um, just living your, you know, just being free. So um, anyway, I hope this wasn't too, if it's preachy, I'm so sorry, guys. That is not the way I wanted it to come across, but it, it is a very passion. I am very passionate about this. And um, again, I am not sitting here. <laughs> I've got a long ways to go, just like we all do, but um, if this message resonated, then um, please like and subscribe, and also um, I am always offering coaching sessions, and we can talk, what is my hair doing? We can always talk about um, anything that you need to talk about, um, it, you know, it, or we can work on goal setting or whatever it is you want to work on, but... Um, I wanted to, I really just, this message just was so strong in my system today. And maybe it's just that I'm working through my own emotions around this. But if it helps someone else, even just one person, then this message was totally worth it. It was totally worth it. Um, you can reach me for coaching if you're interested at rachelkaydana1111 at gmail.com. And um, I hope you're having a good Wednesday. And I'll talk to you soon.